we want to start the program right now. Thank you very much. Um, before we do anything, I just want to, um, it's good to start with prayer before any other thing at all. And without wasting time, um, I will invite the person who is going to give the opening prayer. Um, that is in the person of Dr. S. O. Ajayi. Dr. Ajayi, please can we clap for him? Let us pray. Our great, mighty, and glorious God, we thank you for this afternoon where we are gathered together to celebrate the happy retirement of our professor, our colleague, our friend, and our uncle. We bless you for all the mercies with which you have endowed his life in strength, in health, and joy. Lord, we give thanks to you, accept our thanks on his behalf this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus. Our God, we commit this program into your hand from beginning to the end. We ask that you might guide us through it. We will do everything happily and joyfully from beginning to the end of this program this afternoon in Jesus' name. Father, we are committing him into your hand that as he retires, his strength will not abate. His joy will not disappear. Sickness and ill health will not overtake him. We will see him and we will be happy. We will see him and we will greatly rejoice of all the things that you continue to do even after he has left this place. We ask for greater mercies and such mercies for every one of us because we still have many of our senior ones and even junior ones who are sitting down here this afternoon. We know you are a God that gives joy and happiness and strength and health to everyone. We ask on behalf of everyone that, oh Lord, you will give such to them in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give glory to you. For we have prayed in the name of our great and glorious Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Dr. Ajayi. Now the heavens is opened and God is smiling on us. My name is Dr. William Balogun. I, the MC in this very joyous event. And with me, um, that will call uh, uh, MC here today, he's Dr. Mark Juola. Thank you very much. This is a special lecture that has been organized um, in the honor of uh, an illustrious um, staff in the institutions here in College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, and University College Hospital, and who is right um, in, in, in Department of Medicine. And um, before we go on, I, it's the usual practice there are certain people that we have to introduce and bring up to the other side of the hall. Uh, they call it high table, but it's just customary. It's really necessary uh, for us to do that. Um, the only process is to give to whom honor is given. And so I want to start by into introducing okay well i think we need to do we need to take our national anthem first let's honor our country uh, i hope the are we ready for the national anthem okay please let's let's honor our country and take our national anthem first
Thank you very much. Please. the last one okay please let's have our seats <laughs> we want to thank everyone that has turned out today um, like I said this is a very important occasion to us in the Department of Medicine uh, College of Medicine and the University College Hospital because one of our very own uh, one of the people we refer to as the owner of medicine the Department of Medicine um, is retiring today and it's a great joy to have you all around to be part of this event and witness the occasion so, we want to proceed to introduce the people who will be on this other side, and I want to start uh, by introducing the Provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, the first and the best university in our nation, and um, that is in the person of Professor Olayinka Omigodo, but he has been ably, ably represented there today by the Deputy Provost, who is wearing two caps because he is also um, an invited person here uh, today. But he will be standing in for the Provost as well as and then representing himself. He, the Provost is also the person to chair this important event. So it gives me great pleasure to bring to the high table Professor Fatai Adeniyi. Please, let's clap for him. Let's clap for him. Okay, next I want to call up to the high table um, a brand new dean of the Faculty of Clinical Sciences of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. And this is um, the chief host of today, and it's my pleasure to bring on to the high table Professor T. O. Ogundiro. So, good evening, sir. So we have two chief hosts, and um, the second chief host, of course, is no other person, uh, but the chief medical director of University College Hospital Ibadan, uh, in the person of Professor Jesse Abiodun Otegbayo. Is he here? Is he here yet? Maybe he's on his way. He's still on his way. Okay, so he's still on his way. I also want to uh, introduce, if he's here now, uh, the Okay, um, I don't know if the CMAC is here, but if it's not, um, the Chairman Medical Advisory Committee of the University College Hospital, Dr. Abiodun Adeoye, uh, will also be joining out uh, shortly. I want to uh, invite to the high table uh, somebody who has been given a very important assignment today, um, and that is the guest lecturer of today, uh, all the way from Obafemi Awolowo University, Professor Olayinka Olasode. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Lassode, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm sure we're in for a very, very exciting lecture today. Okay, uh, and of course, the person who is uh, our host, uh, this is the second person that she'll be uh, ushering out of the department since she came on board. Exactly last year, we were here doing the same thing, and it's, it's, it's a joy, uh, even though we miss these people dearly. Uh, so it's mixed feelings. Uh, so I want to invite to the high table the head of medicine, Professor Adebola Ogumbi. Okay, um, I deliberately put this to the last because, of course, um, he's the reason why we're gathered here today. Um, I'm still going to make some recognitions, but I'm just trying to bring people who will be on this side of the table. And so I am uh, really, really delighted uh, to bring somebody who is well known to us in the Department of Medicine and this community, uh, both institutions of College of Medicine um, uh, University of Ibadan, University College Hospital. Someone who is uh, humble in this position, uh, plain and simple um, in the way he goes about his things, uh, but very principled. And um, it, 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 it's someone who is unique in his own right. He has many sides. <laughs> Apart from being a teacher, um, he's, uh, uh, he has this other very interesting side. Um, he can take photographs, like uh, as if it's a professional, and uh, he also has this spiritual side. I remember those days when we used to, if you pass in front of his office, you will see some very inspiring articles uh, on his door. Um, after some times, uh, for a long while now, I haven't been seeing that. Uh, but he used to do that, and those are some of the things that we really know uh, about him. And so, without uh, wasting further time, um, okay, so I can see that the CMD, uh, the CMAC, they are here now. So please, let them just come to the high table straight. Um. Interestingly, both of them are from the Department of Medicine. So they are not only here in their capacity, official capacity as CMD and CMAC, but they are also here as members of the department. Okay, so I think the course is clear now to bring the person who is the center of this whole event to the... Okay, sorry um, for the suspense. Um, I know you know the person I'm referring to. He's been well advertised. You know him. Um, but then um, I just want us to do it in grand style. That is why I have left it to this last one. Um, so please, I want you to stand and um, give a thunderous claps for the celebrant of today, Professor Adekunle George.
And as he's going there, he's here with his daughter. His daughter should please join him, Miss Fumi George. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We can have our seat. Um, quickly, I want to just recognize some eminent dignitaries that are in our midst. And um, please just uh, raise, just stand and, 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 and wave to the people. Um, he's the secretary to the college here, Mr. Oyejide. Okay, not here. The Director of Administration, University College Hospital, Mr. Stephen Oladejo, here? No. Okay. All right. So we want to um, recognize very senior people in the departments that are here and um, also uh, witnessing this event uh, with us. Uh, we're, we're the one doing this together. Uh, Professor Adishola Oguni, Prof. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Professor Solomon Kadri, head of the nephrology unit. You're welcome, sir. I can see Professor Noemi. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, there's so much, so many people to recognize. Um, but apart from Professor Noemi, uh, you know it's a dermatology event, so the whole place is filled with um, dermatologists from all over. Without even mentioning them, um, you can recognize them because someone said, by their skin, you shall know them. They usually either they are glowing or they are looking youthful. So, dermatologists and amis, please can you just stand and, and wave to the people. We know it's your event. Thank you so much for coming from all over to honor Professor George, teacher of teachers in dermatology. We appreciate you and your presence. Please, all the heads of department that are here, uh, time will not permit me to begin to mention you one by one, but we recognize you, and if time permits as the event uh, 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 progresses, we may still have to do that. We want you to just know that we appreciate you for coming to share this joyous occasion with us. And so, without uh, further delay, I want to um, hand over to... Um, the uh, head of medicine who will be formally welcoming us uh, to this event. Thank you. Professor Gumbe Isma. The provost of the College of Medicine, Professor Ola Inka Omigbodu, ably represented by the deputy provost, Professor Fatai Adeni. Professor Fatah Adeni as Deputy Provost, my CMD, Professor Jesse Otegbayo, CMAC, Dr. Abiodun Adeoye, the Dean of the Faculty of Clinical Sciences, Professor um, Ogundiro, our, one of us, our guest speaker of today, Professor Yinka, Last Sunday, who will be who will be um, uh, we'll hear more about her later. Um, the celebrant of today, Professor Adekunle George, I got permission today, so I will call him Georgie. So the president, so the celebrant of today, Georgie. The children, family members, Fumi, Fola, Femi, and the grandchildren who are present here. Head of nursing, I don't think she's here, and all our nursing staff, members of the Nigerian Association of Dermatology, members of the Southwest Dermatology Association, 
all our senior colleagues who will be um, identified as we go on, ladies and gentlemen, and all the people that are online. It's with pleasure that I welcome everybody to today's celebration. I knew it would come, but I didn't realize it would come this soon. Today we are celebrating one of the most simple human beings I have met, Professor Adekunle George. Um, I'm not reading his CV, but I'm just going to say a few things. Professor George attended King's College, Lagos, and I know there are members of his class present. And then he proceeded to the University of Ibadan in 1972 and obtained his MBBS in 1977 and got his fellowship of the National Postgraduate Medical College in 1986. He was employed as a lecturer in 1988, and he became a full professor of the University of Ibadan in 2007. Like I said, I'm happy Professor George is retiring in good health. But honestly, I don't think anybody could have asked for a better senior colleague than Professor George. Professor George, I started in 1974 in the University of Ibadan, and Professor George took me like his little sister, and we have been like that since then. We have been told Professor George is a photographer. Um, yes, Professor George is a very good photographer, and I've been wondering what he's going to do with all his photographs, because he has a lot with regards to UCH, he has a lot with regards to the College of Medicine, and he has a lot with regards to his um, patients. Prof is an astute clinician. For those of us in dermatology, we know he's somebody that talks about the basics, and this is very critical in patient management. We all know he's a, fan, um, he's a dermatologist. Professor George is an author. He has authored four books, and I think somebody will mention that later. Not medical books. He writes Christian literature, and he's also interested in politics. And Professor George was our editor of the Nigerian Journal of Dermatologists up to last year. So it's with great pleasure that I welcome everybody to this celebration. Honestly, it's a celebration we could do for days. But in respect of the person of Professor George, we decided to have a simple lecture so that it will go according to what he wants. So I'd like to welcome everybody to this program, and I wish you, um, what's it? I wish you that you will sit down and enjoy. The person who is going to give the lecture today is one of us, and I'm sure that we are all going to enjoy the lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ma. We are celebrating a very simple, okay. We are celebrating a very simple uh, person um, who is also very practical. Professor George will always want something inexpensive, relevant to our, in the context of our society to solve a problem, um, an issue, whether it has to do with uh, uh, what we need to manage patients in the world. Uh, he will always very creative and we'll come up with one practical way that is not expensive or the other, you know, to solve that. Uh, quickly, I just want to recognize these HODs that are here. Uh, um, Professor Ola Sode, uh, Professor of Pathology, uh, okay, that, sorry, um, that's our guest lecturer. Professor Mokodon is here of Department of Pediatrics. Prof, good afternoon, sir. Professor Feintola is also here. We're happy to have you here. Um, Dr. Abdul Salam, Head of Radiotherapy. We appreciate your coming. Um, Dr. Gani Adeniron, University of Ibadan, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. Thank you so much for coming. There are very, oh, sorry, uh, I, I was wondering. I didn't know he's here, uh, but that's the, I don't want to say the better half, but the whole half, the two shall be one. It's one, 
It's no longer two. So there is no better half. But that is the husband of our guest lecturer for today, uh, Professor Olasode. He is professor of pathology. He's also son of the soil here. I remember. Ah, welcome, sir. I think this mask is just masking faces here. And it's making it difficult for us to recognize people. Thank you very much. All our guests that have been specially invited, we, rec we appreciate your coming. Maybe time will still permit us to mention you. I know Professor Joss had had to work with different people. These are not necessarily medical people, but there are also people that are there to Professor George's heart and in that he has had interactions with them, you know, at a very, very formal and informal level. Thank you very much for coming. I think we are now ready for the opening remarks of the chairman of this occasion, the Provost of College of Medicine, who is being represented by the Deputy Provost, Professor Fatah Adeni. Professor Adeni, you're welcome to the podium. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Williams Balogo. Um, good morning, or good, good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am here today to represent first the um, provost of the College of Medicine, Professor Olainka Omigbodo, who is um, unavoidably absent. Uh, as I speak, she's um, out of the country uh, to attend to some family issues. Uh, as you all know, or you may have known, she is now a grandmother. And um, you know the joy of having a grandchild. It's, um, so, it's, so uh, but uh, essentially, she sent her Apologies, and even this morning she asked me to uh, ensure that I deliver her apologies for not being uh, able to attend. Uh, of course, um, uh, secondly, I'm also happy to be here uh, personally in my capacity as the Deputy Provost, and uh, I'm so happy that um, I have the opportunity of attending uh, this program today. Uh, I recognize most especially the uh, Chief Medical Director of um, the University College Hospital, my uh, dear boss and uh, uncle, Professor Jesse Abiodun Otegbayo, and uh, um, the Dean of Clinical Sciences, uh, Professor Tio Gondera, um, the Head of um, Medicine, Professor Adibala Ogumbi, and then um, let me also recognize the Chairman Medical Advisory Committee, who is um, an, an Abiodun, which um, at an event that was held yesterday, someone said, um, I think it was the I can't remember. I think it was the acting governor that was making a comment to the fact that he heard that um, whoever is going to be the <laughs> a chief medical director <laughs> in the University College Hospital will have to first be an abiodun because um, Professor, uh, we all know of Professor Abiodun Ilesomi, and then uh, we have um, Professor uh, Abiodun Otegbayo. But we have a CMAC, who is uh, Dr. Abiodun Adewi. <laughs> I recognize him especially. Uh, and of course, um, the guest uh, speaker of today from the uh, great Ife, who also happens to be a namesake of my boss. She is Professor Lainka Olasode. We are very delighted to have you with us this morning. Thank you very much. And uh, last but not the least, the celebrant of today. Uh, sometimes you wonder the, um, this kind of event is usually associated with um, being, uh, having clocked 70 years. And so when you have the opportunity of uh, you know, assessing Professor uh, Adekunle George, you wonder if truly he has attained that age of 70. Um, Prof, sir, I rejoice with you this morning, and I bring specially 
uh, well wishes from the provost of the College of Medicine, Professor Lion Kao Mibadu. Uh, a little drama happened last week. I had assumed that this program was last week Thursday. I'm sure the head of medicine didn't know why I called her at that time. I needed an information from her. And then she said it's, uh, the program was coming up this week. Uh, meanwhile, I had sent um, a message to the provost that day that, well, I will be attending uh, Professor George's um, uh, send-off event. And then I was asking her if she had any special message she would want me to deliver at the event. And then she, I, in a very uh, uh, transcendent uh, moment, I, I put her in a, in a panic mode because she was very busy as she is doing Omugwa. She was also very busy doing so many other things. And then she said, ah, okay, oh, well, it's just a few minutes to 12. Um, that okay, just send my well wishes. I can't really be able to say a lot of things at this time. But later on, when I spoke with the head of medicine, she said, it's, the program is next week. And I went back to her. I said, uh, Provost, the program is actually next week. She said, oh, I'm very relieved now that it's next week. So since that time, we had talked um, a lot about uh, this event. And uh, she actually did say that she's still going to make some release about you. And well, I think whenever she does that, she's going to be able to express herself better about how she feels about you. But essentially, she expressed a lot of appreciation for all that you have done for the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, and of course, indeed, the University um, College Hospital. Um, like the MC did say the other time, the dermatologists are the people who keep us um, beautiful and handsome and elegant and all that. And of course, we at the College of Medicine are so delighted that not only that you keep people beautiful, we also have had the opportunity of having you around to have also impacted on a lot of other mentees who have had the opportunity of passing through you. And I know that they are all over the country. Uh, you know, delivering what you have uh, taught them. So we especially congratulate you for that. And um, I think on the last note, I also must mention that uh, sometimes when we have retirement events like this, we, there are some, probably some retirements you, you want to f have a little bit of anxiety about the retiree, you know. But um, in this case, uh, Professor George, we are very sure a very jolly good fellow, I am very, very optimistic that he's going to do exceptionally well in his retirement. He is multi-talented. He does not necessarily, is not likely to get bored. I know Professor George is a very great handyman. He know, I know that he does a lot of fixings by himself. He can, you can find him uh, you can find him plastering a building. You can find him painting a building by himself, you know. And uh, you also see him uh, playing with, he loves pets, I believe. And um, so he has a lot of that going for him. And um, in addition to that, I, I know that he also loves music and plays a, quite a number of instruments, musical instruments. So um, in your retirement, it's a very good thing. Why we know that you are not going to be tired there's still going to be a lot of professional and academic things that you have to be doing in your retirement. But I believe that you also have so many other uh, talents which are going to keep you uh, very uh, healthy, both physically and mentally in your retirement. On behalf of the Provost of the College of Medicine, once again, we congratulate you and we wish you well. We are so happy for what you have done for these twin institutions and all we can say is that please do not turn your back to this institution, which is essentially it's also your alma mater. Congratulations and best wishes. And thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you very much, sir, Professor Adeni, um, for those excellent uh, opening remarks. Um, uh, my name is Mark Onjola. I'm Dr. Balogun's assistant. Um, I sound a little jittery because uh, 
many of my it's 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 usual to call them teachers and grand teachers, but they are more my fathers and mothers. Are on this side, are on that side. So please pardon any nervousness that you can detect in my voice. Um, so swiftly, we'll move to the next item on the agenda, which is um, goodwill messages from both chief hosts. However, before that, I'd like to recognize um, the presence of the head of the Department of Surgery, Professor Ogunlade. Um, I don't know if he's in. If he's here, he should please. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. And also, um, the immediate past uh, director of the Institute for Advanced um, Medical Research and Training of the College of Medicine, Professor Catherine Falade, is also here. Um, thank you very much, Ma, for coming. Um, I can also see uh, Dr. Irabo as well beside her. Thank you very much for coming. Um, thank you um, to all who are here. And so without uh, further ado, I'll call on the Dean of the Faculty of Clinical Sciences, uh, Professor Tio Ogundiro, for his goodwill messages. Thank you very much. The Deputy Provost, my CMD sir, the CMAC, the Head of Medicine, our guest speaker, and the celebrant of today, my teacher, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's with great pleasure and appreciation to God and to members of the Faculty of Clinical Sciences that I'm standing here today as the face of the faculty. It's also a big honor that the Department of Medicine is launching me out at this august occasion in honor of our returning teacher. On behalf of the faculty, I thank you all for accommodating this important event in your schedules. By coming, you have identified with our teacher and you are showing that we honor him, we appreciate him, we appreciate the time and contributions of ease to the university, the hospital, the generations of students and trainees that he has nurtured, and his services to countless number of patients that he has treated. To our humble, amiable, easygoing, and pleasant teacher, Professor George, on behalf of all of us, I wish to say thank you for your services to students, residents, staff members, patients, your department and to humanity. Congratulations on your birthday and congratulations on your retirement from our, from our twin institutions. We wish you a happy retirement and pray that you will live long in good health, peace and abundance of grace. We thank our guest lecturer, Professor Ola Sode, for accepting to deliver a lecture at this occasion. Finally, I welcome you all and wish you a pleasant event. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, thank you very much, sir. Uh, may I uh, humbly call on my employer, the Chief Medical Director, sir, for his... I didn't recognize him personally before, so in these tough economic times, I have to be very, very careful. Your, for your, <laughs> please give him a hand of applause, a round of applause as he gives his... Oh, okay. Don't worry, your call duty will be paid. <laughs> Good afternoon, the Provost, ably represented by the Deputy Provost, Professor Fatai Adeni. The Dean, Faculty of Clinical Sciences, Professor Temi Dayo Ogudiro. I call my HOD the head and neck of medicine, Professor Adibola Ogumbi. The lecturer, Professor Lassode, she was my senior registrar when I was registrar in neurology in 1992. Thank you for coming. But I hear some things that uh, make me to feel we have to address the issue sincerely. People from OAU, they will call themselves Obama University, that is the king of universities. Well, everybody knows the history of UI, and there cannot be two kings in a palace. Akiri Obameji laughing. And therefore, I hereby designate OAU as Omo Awan University. 
<laughs> so my teacher, uh, Professor Adekule George, the CMAC, Dr. Adeoye, I think I have to add the Abiodun going by what <laughs> the deputy provost said. <clears throat> and of course, the daughter of our teacher. Distinguished people seated in the audience. I can see the people they call the owners of medicine department, Professor Solomon Kadri. I can see Professor Olasade Mister, Professor Aneto, the head of surgery, Professor Gunlade. And I must pick somebody from outside the Badon. I think Professor Akekugwe is also there, all the way from Lagos. You are all welcome. I want to extend a warm welcome from the Board of Management, management staff, students, and patients of the University College Hospital, Libado. We appreciate your coming. The person we are honoring today has been described in many times, and I know when Dr. Shakirat Gold Olufadi will come and do a presentation, she will mention many more things. The lecturer of today doesn't have a single gray hair. I don't know how he's doing it. Oh, he's doing dermatology. Well, that's, that's better than ophthalmology, which is eye service. <laughs> well, in one of the lectures he gave us where we were residents, he mentioned in passing for something that made me to know that we are actually in the same practice or subspecialty. Oh, I didn't see Professor Oguni here. I'm just seeing you, sir. You're welcome, sir. I'm Professor Fatai Fentolamin. He said that the GIT is a reflection of the skin inwards, and that whatever happens to the skin can also happen into the GIT. Wow. I never read any of that in any book before then and since after then. But I believe what he has said. Oh, has that changed, sir? <laughs> so it means if you have angioedema on the skin, you can also have angioedema in the GIT and cause some abdominal pains of unknown uh, origin or classification. But he has taught us so many things uh, as a teacher. And I think because he works on the outside, I work on the inside. That is why he looks more of a fashionista and fanciful and knowing what to do with his hair. Maybe I'll go and learn how to make my own hair black too, if it is not too late. And again, I also took over from him as the head of the department of medicine, though I spent only five months as a children. But you know, there are some people you take over from and becomes a problem. But he never gave me a problem one day. He was very supportive. And uh, he also made sure before he left office that my picture is placed in the departmental office, which I probably would have missed if he didn't take that initiative. So he has made me uh, memorable in the Department of Medicine, and I want to sincerely thank you for this. He believes some people were wrongly treated that way, and he didn't want me to be wrongly treated. So he did that. So as you retire, sir, we are wishing you long life, prosperity, more money in your account. And of course, I know you are not retiring into joblessness or lack of things to do. Because like the deputy provost said, Professor Lubuide was the head of GIT unit when I was uh, a resident. And he said, Professor George actually roofed his own house. So when he was still said to be plastering, I wasn't surprised. I'm sure there will be many more of such things to do. And it would be nice to have a kind of archive for all the photographs that you have taken. Because 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the lane, some of the photographs you took, the structures may not be in existence, and it will be something that UCH will be very proud to have and preserve. And I believe College of Medicine will also like to do the same. One of the residents uh, anchoring today's occasion just came to me and said, you will be presenting a goodwill message. I said, I've seen it in the, in the program. And I said, 
That's what you people have taught me. Every occasion you go now, you have to be a goodwill messenger. Because just yesterday, Professor Fatai Adeni was presenting a lecture at the Inwuga Foundation Lecture of Physiotherapy. And I was called to give a goodwill message. Today, I'm giving another one. Probably tomorrow, I'll do another. So I no longer do endoscopy. I now do goodwill message. Thank you very much for this. Another round of applause for the Chief Medical Director. <laughs> when he commented about uh, Professor George here uh, not having a single gray hair, I noticed, I looked around, and I noticed that he forced people to now make a comparison between his own hair and Professor George's hair. <laughs> of course, you know that uh, uh, because of this burden of uh, administration, the CMD's hair is not really entirely black. <laughs> okay. Um, we're getting very, very close to the purpose, main purpose of this event, that is the lecture that will be delivered in honor of Professor George. But before that, I just want to quickly recognize some people that are here. I, I've been informed that the head of Who and G is now here, Professor Okulola. Professor Okulola, you're welcome, sir. The former CMAC is also here, Dr. Akim Oladun. We appreciate your presence. Ah, that's true. The former, 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 former dean, former, former dean, uh, who we will never forget uh, his style of, of, of administration and deanship, uh, very, very mature. He's also here, Professor Malomo. Professor Malomo, sir. I think he's somewhere there. And now, there are um, some people that are in our midst, and uh, we cannot just but um, recognize them. I've actually recognized a few of them, but in this context now, we have to recognize them. They are the classmates of Professor George, and they are here. I'm sure Professor George would like to uh, uh, be happy to know that uh, uh, his classmates are represented here. And so we have Professor Ni Yonoyemi. Professor Noyemi, again, you're welcome. Dr. Lau Mipupola, you're welcome, sir. Professor Solomon Kadri, you're welcome, sir. Uh, Professor Sabo Mokodon is also one of the whole classmates of uh, Professor George. You're welcome, sir. Professor Mike Asuzu, he's also here. He's a classmate of Professor George. Okay. Uh, Dr. J.K. Latipo, I think he's still here. Okay. And... Um, the last, definitely, but not the least, his wife, they're both in this, all in the same set together, Dr. Mrs. Um, Latipo. Thank you very much for your presence here. Um, so, I think we, uh, please, we won't really want to appreciate all the consultants that are here, uh, that are, especially those of you that have come outside medicine. We know that it's because of the love that you have for the celebrant as well as for the department that have drawn you here. We really appreciate you. Because of our time, we will not be able to mention you one by one. And all the um, nurses, top nursing officials that are also here, um, we recognize you. We specifically uh, just recognize uh, Deputy Director of Nursing, Bade Bori. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Okay, so I think um, we will not want to move ahead uh, to the meat of this event, and um, I want to invite to give the citation of the guest lecturer of today, uh, a um, dermatologist um, in our own right, and just like Professor George too, this person is also very creative. She, she writes books. You know, you've been told that Professor George writes books. She also writes books. <laughs> okay, so um, so Dr. Shakira Gold Olufadi will be given the citation. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I'm grateful with um, how much you 
make me sound golden. <laughs> um, my name is Shakirat Gold Olufadi, and I'll be reading the citation of Professor Olayinka Olasode. So Professor Olayinka Abimbola Olasode is a professor of dermatology and venerology, and a consultant physician and dermatologist at the Obafemi Awolo University and the Obafemi Awolo University Teaching Hospital, respectively. She has always been a woman of many firsts. As part of the first set, graduating students at the College of Medicine, University of Calabar in 1983, and the first trained female dermatologist from Department of Medicine, University College Hospital. I have to say the first and the best before I get you know, sent out of the stage. Between 1988 and 1995, she has been a medical doctor for the past 39 years, a dermatologist and venerologist for the past 27 years, and was a chief resident in internal medicine during her training. She has been a faculty member of the Department of Dermatology and Venerology of Bafemi Awolo University since 1995, including the head, chief examiner, Department of Dermatology and Venerology for several academic years. She became a professor of dermatology and venerology in 2010 and gave an inaugural lecture in 2017 titled, Man is Skin and His Genitals, The Beauty and the Beast. Professor Olayinka Olasode is a fellow West African College of Physicians, fellow of the American College of Physicians, International Fellow, American Academy of Dermatology, and a trainer, supervisor, mentor of both postgraduate medical colleges in Nigeria. She's a member faculty postgraduate committee, faculty of clinical sciences, Obafemi Awolo University, a member of both the university academic planning committee and senate of the Obafemi Awolo University. She has been a coordinator, albinism care and research group, Obafemi Awolo University Teaching Hospital, a multidisciplinary group of over 20 years for the total care and research of people with albinism and a coordinator of the Medical Women Senior Members Forum, Osho State, including the president-elect, Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Osho State Branch. Outside the academic work and clinical care in the university and hospital, Professor Olasode has contributed immensely in other capacities. She was the past chair of the Southwest Nigeria Dermatology Association and was the chair of the local organizing committee of the National Dermatology Conference, Obafemi Aolo University, Leife, in 2018. She is the current chair of the Faculty of Clinical Sciences, Obafemi Aolo University Committee on Antisexual Harassment and a consultant, Center for Gender and Social Policy Studies, Obafemi Aolo University, Leife. Scholarship program for female indigent students funded by Carnegie. She is a member steering committee, Bill Gates Institute of Public Health, Obafemi Awolo University of Reproductive Health and Human Development Resources, a member of the International AIDS Research, member Dermatologic Tropical Advisory Committee to World Health Organization Task Force for ICD 11. She's an editor and reviewer to many local and international medical derm journals and dermatology, and a member of the editorial board of the Nigerian Journal of Dermatology. She has received many awards and scholarships, including the following. Certificate of Training in HIV AIDS, Prevention and Care for Medical Doctors in Africa at Infectious Disease Institute, Makerere University, funded by Uganda Academic Alliance Foundation and the Infectious Disease Institute of America. Africa Regional Sexuality Resource Center, Sexuality Institute Award and Training in Adolescent and Access to Sexuality Education in Africa, funded by Ford Foundation. International Award winner for Africa to International AIDS Conference in Paris in 2006. Visto Exchange Program funded by the Center for Special Studies, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Cornell University, Comprehensive Clinical Exposure for Training in HIV AIDS, Management Counseling and Antiretroviral Therapy. She's an she was an exchange visitor, visiting scholar 
for John Hopkins University, Bill and Melinda Gates Institute of Population and Reproductive Health, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Institute. International Exchange Fellowship Program of the American College of Physicians to Detroit Medical Center, funded by American College of Physicians and um, funded by Pfizer. Professor Lassode has trained and supervised over 20 dermatologists for the fellowship in postgraduate medical colleges here in Nigeria. She started two new specialty dermatology clinics in the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital and Federal Medical Center, Uyu, in, during our one year sabbatical in 2006, and collected and published baseline data in dermatology subspecialty for these institutions. She has published over 80 scientific publications in peer reviewed journals and is one of the 155 authors of the first indigenous reference text in internal medicine in Nigeria, contributing two chapters in the field of dermatology and venerology. She's also the author of a motivational book for women titled, Women's Issues Are God's Issues. When Professor Olainka is not teaching dermatology or managing her patients, you can find her ministering the gospel, traveling, singing, dancing, writing poems or uplifting others with motivational talks. She is married to Professor B of Neuropathology, Professor B.J. Olasode, and they are blessed with many children and grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Professor Olainka Abimbola Olasode. the provosts of the College of Medicine, the dean, the deputy provost, the dean, the CMD, Professor Tegwayo. When he saw me, he said, Oga, oh, welcome. I said, ah, don't call me Oga here. I was thinking. <laughs> and the celebrant of today and the daughter and the CMAC. Uh, I will use this opportunity to give a public thanks to my darling husband of 38 years, <laughs> Professor B.J. Olasode, an excellent neuropathologist who finished here also his residency in UCH. My teachers, because they are seated here, I thank you so much. Uh, yes, over 27 years ago, as I shut the gates of UCH behind me in pursuit of an expectant future, I looked back with nostalgia at the most stressful six years of my medical adventure. And I breathed a sigh of relief. Residency at that time in UCH was not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> I held firmly in my hands a WACP certificate and in my heart a depth of gratitude to God that allowed me to finish and an appreciation for my teachers. Prominent on that list of my teachers is Professor Kunle Church. He was the only dermatologist on ground for a very long while. He was the only one I could identify with as I studied dermatology. And without a dermatologist on ground, I would have had to choose another field entirely, despite the fact that it was a divine instruction and direction. I'm therefore happy to be back today, Professor George, to give this lecture in your honor is indeed a great privilege. I bring greetings from Great Ilefe.
the lecture before us today is Dermatology in Nigeria, aligning the old with the new. The outline that I've put forward is as listed, running from the field of dermatology to celebrating the icon of today. The field of dermatology is a branch of medicine because we don't assume everybody knows in the audience that deals with the study of the normal skin and disease of the skin. It concerns the study, the research, the diagnosis, and the treatment of disorders of the skin. And we specialists in that field, we are all called dermatologists. There's a biblical origin to dermatology. If you are a reader of the Bible, you can check Leviticus chapter 13, 1 and 2, where the Lord said to Moses and to Aaron that when anyone has a swelling or a rash or a shiny spot on their skin that may be a defiling disease, they must be brought to Aaron, the priest, or to one of his sons who is a priest. My deductions from that, dermatologists are priests. We are intermediaries sent by God on an assignment to heal skin diseases. You either consult them or one of the people they themselves have trained. Let's talk about the ancient history of dermatology. The word dermatology is derived from Greek word, which is dermatos and derma. You can read the rest if you can. Ebers Papyrus, a medical document from ancient Egypt, dating back to uh, 1500 BC, is one of the earliest known sources documenting skin ailments. The Egyptians have it all the time. Hippocrates proposed the first classification of skin diseases, dividing what we call dermatosis into two classes. The idiopathic diseases, which originates primarily from the skin, because at that time we didn't know what caused them, and the exanthematic diseases and the cutaneous manifestations of systemic diseases. In the 18th and 19th century, the specialty consolidated itself as a field of medical study based on classification, diagnosis, treatment of skin problems. And in the 28th century, the scientific and technological revolution transformed dermatological practice. And there was an explosion of knowledge about skin diseases. Here is a picture of dermatologists participating in the first international congress of dermatology and syphilology in Paris in 1889. I don't know what you notice in that picture, which is indeed a very wide panoramic view. Is there anything you can notice? Yeah, because all men, all men, so we women, we have really come a very long way. And is there any other thing you notice? All white. Very brilliant audience. All white. So we of this Negro skin, we have come a very long way. I want to give briefly Africa's history of Dermatology Association. The African Association for Dermatology, called AFRAD, was founded in 1981 in Tanzania. Uh, the foundation president was an Egyptian, El Mufti, but the vice president at that time is our own dear indigenous Professor Anezi Okoro. Professor Masawe, well, a Tanzanian, was the general secretary, and Professor Amar was editor-in-chief of African Journal of Dermatology. The Pan-African Congress of Dermatology, PAF Kodama, was being held every two years, rotated in the number countries. 
So let's move home. We move nearer home. The pioneer roles in dermatology in Nigeria. We are going from the old to the new. The first dermatologist to work in Nigeria was George Clark in the mid-1950s. And he wrote a book that was titled Skin Diseases in the Africa, which was published in 1959. And the first set of dermatologists who established the discipline didn't establish it in OAU, though we are great. They did that in UCH, Ibadan. They were Roger R. M. Harman and G. C. Wells in 1962. How did they get here? Uh, Alexander Brown contacted them in the Institute of London for Skin Diseases and asked that he would love people to come and establish this discipline in UCH. The first Nigerian indigenous dermatologist was Anizi Okoro. Like you have noticed, he was the vice president in the African uh, connection. And the first female dermatologist in this, our great nation, Nigeria, of which I am very proud, was Professor Yetunde M. Olumide, an emeritus professor of the University of Lagos in dermatology. The first and only department of dermatology, I know I cannot be left out, <laughs> is where I'm working now. It's still the only department of dermatology alone standing on its own in the whole of West Africa is at Obafemi Awolo University Lefe in Southwest. And it was started by a German trained dermatologist, Professor Femi Schoenka of blessed memory. The first leprologist in Nigeria was George Brown, who was a medical missionary. That's a picture of George H.V. Clark in the mid-1950s, leaving us with a book that he published in 1959. Now, the other two that started the field of dermatology in UCH uh, didn't go away with empty hands. Roger M. Harman published a book in Clinical Tropical Dermatology, which is being renewed to today. You can still see it on Amazon if you want to have a look at what he wrote. And the second one is G.C. Wells. In 1971, this same George Wells first described Wells syndrome. I know dermatologists know what I'm talking about as a recurrent granulomatous dermatitis with eosinophilia. And then it was later renamed in 1979 as eosinophilic cellulitis. These are the Nigerian indigenous pioneers in dermatology. Anezi Okoro, A. O. Shomori of the University of Lagos, Y. M. Olumide, Femi showing our blessed memory. We honor these pioneers even today as we celebrate <laughs> Professor George. There was a publication by Professor Shomori telling us about a short history of uh, dermatology in Lagos in 1973. I think I quoted it in my references, so you can check it up. But you can see that the history of dermatology has been told for decades. The history of dermatology in Nigeria, in fact, it was this paper that spurred me to choose this very topic, was written by Professor Adekunle and Olani Daramola. Olani Daramola was trained here. Uh, he, also, he worked in Elori. It was written in the International Society of Dermatology uh, International Journal of Dermatology in 2004. Uh, this paper was a major breakthrough in uh, the history of dermatology and it said a lot about the roles of the first people, what they played in bringing dermatology to Nigeria. There was a call for a rebirth of the Nigerian Association of Dermatology by Professor Anezi. The Nigerian Association of Dermatologists had been in existence and inaugurated in 1971, even before in 1981. But there was a brain drain. 
the brain drain took away brains. And Nigerian professionals were not excluded in the late 1980s and in the early 1990s. It took away most of the first generation Nigerian dermatologists. They were away for quite a while. At this time, younger generations of dermatology blossomed until this, there was this call in 2004. Because this silent period, which you can call the dark ages in realizing who we were, seemed to be very silent. We were unseen. We were unsung specialty in Nigeria at that time. He asked this question. He said, is it, not a t is it not time for a rebirth of the National Association of Dermatologists? He said, the ball is in your court. He wrote this. He signed it, and he sent it by mail to Professor Onoyemi, and I was copied. And this was a challenge. This is the mail that I copied. I still found it in my mailbox. Written, sent in 2004. And I'm happy to say there was a rebirth of the Nigerian Association of Dermatologists with the following objectives. NAD was to assist government in the formulation of policies that will help and enhance the skin health of Nigerians. It was also to provide continued medical education in dermatology for various cadres of health workers. NAD was to be actively involved in promoting public awareness of matters of skin disease. NAD was to act as an advocacy group against the stigmatization of Nigerians with skin disorders. And after the rebirth, the conferences started. At the third NAD scientific conference held in Enugu in 2009, a pronouncement was made that all regional bodies should be reactivated and areas where new association were existing should start one. And the preferable sites were listed. Lagos, Federal Capital Territory, the Southeast, the Southwest, the Northeast, and the Northwest. And this brought about the change in the pre-existing Ife Ibadan Elori Dermatology Association. It became the Southwest Association. You can see those who started that. In front is our dear Professor George, our dear Professor Gumbi, Professor Noemi, and myself. And the three behind are also consultants in their various rights now. It's a very old picture. We did what we could do. I want to give kudos to Professor Gumbi, not because she's here. It's because I could see the passion and the emotion that this would come to be. I congratulate you and Professor George that it came to be. On the 3rd of February, 2009, I received another mail in my inbox from this time from Professor George. He said, my dear Dr. Lasode, you will recall that I was mandated by the association to get a journal going. The work is on the way. I'm contacting experienced dermatologists locally and globally to join hands in making the project a reality. This is the reason for my writing to invite you as a deputy editor. It gives me great pleasure for you to say yes. You can imagine a teacher writing to who he trained. It gives me great pleasure. At that time, you don't use CH. You were not even asked, you were commanded. <laughs> okay, I, I replied to him that I am willing. I say yes, I wholeheartedly agree. That's my mail to him. And he said, once more, Yinka, it's, having, it's good having you coming on board. There are very people, few people who call me by name. Professor George does. you say Yinka. Now, that birth, the first edition of the Nigerian Journal of Dermatology, which was published in 2011. So this is a picture of the maiden issue. Uh, uh, having uh, Professor Adekunle George as the editor-in-chief 
of the Nigerian Journal of Dermatology. Nigerian participants also became global. We, this is a picture of us at the International League of Dermatological Societies. Because now we could go, dermatologic, uh, the League uh, welcomes societies and associations. And many of us have now become a fellow of the American uh, Dermatological Academy. So you can see there, so I can point. Uh, you can see there. Is it coming up? Anyway, I think uh, my husband can identify me. <laughs> uh, then you can identify uh, Professor Gumbi, uh, Grace Okudo, and so on and so forth. We are there. We were all so happy that uh, we had gone global. Uh, this is one of the years, I couldn't remember which one it is, because we've been to quite uh, a number of the conferences abroad. This is Vancouver, Canada. Thank you very much. So this was, uh, there was one, somebody from one of the East African countries that joined us, but uh, it was such a lovely outing. We were proud of what we had become. Now the foundation has been laid. It's been successful. The number of fellows in the postgraduate colleges and practicing dermatologists has increased from a dozen when I graduated to over a hundred. There has been a successful rebirth the Nigerian Association of Dermatologists. Regional groups were operating, inaugurated. A scientific peer review journal was in place on a regular basis. Dermatology postgraduate curriculum was constantly being reviewed and updated. Nigeria became part of the Global League of Dermatological Societies. I dedicate this slide to the many unsung heroes who made it possible for the field of dermatology to be an established specialty in Nigeria. So many of them. Uh, I didn't meet uh, Professor uh, uh, Dr. Alabi by the time I arrived. There are so many unsung heroes which I would not have time to mention today. What's happening? He's gone off. There is not enough time to mention so many people. People who have taught, uh, dermatologists who have served in so many various capacities in our association uh, to promote the field of dermatology. Okay, so this slide, I thought it was because of the color he didn't show, is dedicated to the many unsung heroes who made it possible. Many people put in a lot of effort to make that specialty to stand. So, what or who is the, the new in dermatology in Nigeria? We have talked of the old. The new, I want to say, is a continuum, and the definition is flexible. The new refers to those who joined the specialty after the foundation was laid, after the struggle. It refers to a period when fellowship is what defines you as a dermatologist, not only a diploma. The new refers to the generation that could type their dissertation on a computer not a typewriter. 
You understand? If you were typing on the typewriter like me, and you miss a page, or you miss a sentence, you are in trouble. <laughs> you have to go back and start all over again. So the new belongs to the computer era. The new refers to the dispensation that met the journal rather than the newsletter. Professor George, there was a new letter, newsletter before the journal. I saw so many sent to my mail. Hmm? Now we have a journal. A journal that is worthy of world recognition. The new is the time when our silence and lack of recognition as a discipline turned into established recognition and our expertise by the masses. I'm glad to say that the national chair for NME in Nigeria is a dermatologist. So I continue. What is new? The new is the era of emergence of skin imaging technology in dermatology, dermoscopy, high frequency ultrasound, where we now are anticipating the arrival of artificial intelligence, image recognition, and capabilities for assisted diagnosis. The fear I have is I hope it won't get some of us out of job. When Professor Joe's small camera is now being replaced by camera of iPhone 13, he loved photography. The new in this period is when you can proudly say, I am a dermatologist. By my own definition, the new is the generation after me. The energetic, the adventurous. If you don't agree with me, see me after the lecture and show me your wrinkles. But I remember I was at one of the conferences and this Dr. Irere was dragging me all over the place, full of energy. I, did, I couldn't remind her that we are not the same age. <laughs> she was dragging me from boot to boot in assurance that I must not miss anything, any of the goodies. She said, come, come. She kept dragging me and I was sweating. Thank you so much for that exercise. So the new is this generation of restless dermatologists that are not content to sit alone in the classes. They are all over the place, adventurous, running clinics, attending to patients, and showing who they are. Dr. Um, Olife, uh, uh, what's Cole, is she here? She's not. She's one of the restless ones all over the place, in Instagram, in Facebook, telling us about what the skin is all about. As we celebrate the old, we also celebrate our new. The topic is about aligning the old with the new. Because we cannot afford to let a gap emerge. So let's build upon the foundation that has been laid. A thorough foundation where people made sacrifices, where people gave of their substance, where people like Professor George, who could benefit in Saudi Arabia, stayed here to teach me. <laughs> Let's strengthen the pillars of dermatology. We can identify them. When we know when they appear, we know that the field is here to stay. Let's repaint the faded walls and let us celebrate the old. The old is one of what we are celebrating today. Professor George, congratulations. We cannot afford to throw away the old. Let's learn from the mistakes of the past. Many mistakes were made in relationships, in PRO, in how we handle issues. 
Let's learn from the experience. Let's get rid of the mistakes. Pick up the strengths because experience is expensive. The world and technology keeps changing every day. Let's be open to new ideas. Let us think within and outside the box. And if the box is not useful, let's replace it. The dinosaurs became extinct because they were too big for the changing world to sustain. I want to emphasize this, that it's time to promote the subspecialties in dermatology because a rolling stone cannot gather any moss. I've noticed that a lot of our dermatologists are jumping from one field, subspecialty, to the another as they write up their papers. We need a focus. We need to be able to refer to certain places for some specialties. Let's promote in our various institutions the subspecialties in dermatology. We need books in these subspecialty areas of dermatology. And today, I make a call for us to publish more books. Let's encourage collaborations within and without, like UCH and IFE, Lagos and Maiduguri. Let's encourage collaborations. We have more to gain. And let's involve ourselves in mega researches across the regions, across the nation, pan-African and the global spheres. We need to move forward. We need to do this so that we don't stay and be stagnant. We need to move out. And as you do this research, we need to collaborate and get grants. Grants for our universities. Professors get grants. As you grow and mature, let's get grants. This is not just for dermatology, but for all of us, we need grants. I was privileged to be in um, um, uh, uh, East of Africa and uh, for a while, and I found out that there were a lot of grants in the specialties in the University of Makarere. Uh, I think it's high time that we challenge our senior ones that they must help us and teach us how to write grants and get grants. Aligning the old with the new. Solid mentorship programs. We are both the highly cerebral and the gentle achievers reproduce and replicate themselves to avoid extinction. Mentors matched with mentees must be beyond boundaries. Uh, as I was coming, uh, I taught a, 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 the workshop of the West Africa this morning. I gave a lecture on pigmentary dermatosis. And at the end, they said, no question. I said, okay, who, which one of you wants to write a dissertation in pigmentary dermatosis? And one of them said, yes. I said, okay, I don't have to be your supervisor because I know many people will be clamoring in your institution so that they can add it to their CV for professorship, but I can be your mentor. You can see me so that I can tell you the loopholes in this area. So mentors should transcend beyond boundaries. You don't have to have a mentor that is, because you are from UCH, it must be from UCH. No. There is need to establish the Institute of Dermatology. Uh, Professor Shoinka, late Professor Shoinka, wanted to, that's what he wanted to do in IFE, but he could not accomplish that. So Institutes of Dermatology, where we can train uh, uh, allied people in allied uh, medicine to, do, to help us and assist us in management in dermatology. Drug research and development, especially using our available indigenous herbal products, is in the now. Is in the now. A sunscreen now costs about between 6,000 and uh, 8,000 a tube. Yet, we can do it. We can make it. Curriculum drafting committees should be expanded to involve the old, the retired, like Professor George, the new, the margin, and the bridges. Nobody knows it all. Let's ask for opinion everywhere. Linkages, take the practice to the community. Practice increased advocacy. I was in Ibadan Saturday. 
I was in the midst of people with albinism. I was in their midst. They even sang for me. Mama, oh, mama, oh, mama, oh. Oluwada, mama, see. Go to the community. Take your expertise to the community. No matter what branch of medicine you are, take it to those that need it. Advocate, engage, ne negotiate, use the media, expand the horizon. Now, these are the dermatologic uh, subspecialties, uh, which I think we should have a look at. I'm not copying the ones from abroad. I'm just saying those that are relevant to us here. Community dermatology, tropical dermatology, medical dermatology, geriatric, genital dermatology, dermatopathology, and so on and so forth. So let's pick one of these. As we mentor the younger ones that are coming up, please stop publishing everywhere. Pick somewhere and have a focus. Now, Professor Adekunle Judge, it's time to celebrate you. You are an icon, a builder. You are a trailblazer, staying so long alone in UCH. You are a pillar, a sustainer, a history maker to me, an older brother. You are a mentor, a mender, an encourager, a man of integrity. Professor George is the only person I've had when they overpaid him. He took a teller and returned it to the bank. <laughs> so those are the small, small things that we do that our mentees look at. He's consistent. He's simple. But I've heard some say he's square. He's square, aren't we all? He had undeniable and apologetic passion, like many people have said here, for photography. My experience, my personal experience with Professor George, was that a man who emptied himself of all pride never claimed to know it all, but he taught dermatology in his own unique and simple and humble way, devoid of all the empty braggings and jargons, complicated jargons that we hear today. Yet he achieved. He raised giants in the field. And is today one of the pillars of foundation of dermatology. Professor Adekunle Jok. We salute you today. We say you are a champion. We celebrate you. You are indeed a great man. An excellent physician. An excellent dermatologist. A father. A grandfather. We are standing up to a champion of champions. My teacher. My mentor. We celebrate you today. Professor Adekunle George. Grandfather Professor George. I present to you today your genealogy of your third generation. Who in one way or the other benefited from the tutelage of dermatology that I learned from you and are established in various parts of the country and outside the country. There are 22 I've listed here, but it's not exhaustive. These are people who pass through my tutelage and are professors and senior people, but it would never have happened if I never learned it from you. Professor Yusuf, <laughs> continually he is the type that will publish. We have to get in contact with him to continue. Professor Mohammed Tahi is now the, chair, the coordinator of uh, the exams for dermatology in West Africa. Dr. Alkale is in UK. Dr. Nila is with us in uh, Ife. Dr. Akimboro is a fantastic dermatologist in Ugbomosho. Eze Jofo is in the East. Chuak is in Jos. Henshaw, my fondest baby in dermatology, is in Calabar, who I had the privilege of meeting when I went for sabbatical. Dr. Fabusui, Alo, Ashaulu, Oke, Uripela, Anola, Rewaju, and Belo were all trained fully in Ife. Dr. Archibank, 
also followed the footsteps of Dr. Henshaw. He's in Calabar. Dr. Bello is here flourishing in a private clinic. In fact, the patients are commending her and asking her, can we take you to Lagos? Dr. Patrick also currently is already in Saudi Arabia. Dr. Lai Emi and Israel, they are, uh, one is from Ogomosho and one is from Oshogo. Dr. Ajani, also another pet of my pets, is uh, uh, the uh, daughter of, the, of uh, Professor Femi uh, Shoinka. Dr. Eniton, highly intelligent, that was produced in Ife. We are still waiting to get a place for him in the university. And Dr. Oiwo, who is now in Erua. So these are just 22. I wonder how they have been, would have been back if they didn't have a grandfather like Professor George. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Professor George, there comes a time when you have to choose between turning the page of a book or just closing the book. We are saying, please don't shut the book. Just open the next chapter. I cannot conclude this lecture without remembering our departed and great uh, dermatologist seniors and colleagues who served conscientiously, but they have departed to greater heights. Professor Noruka from uh, the University of Unsuka wrote so many books, uh, so many uh, papers, journal articles. Wonderful woman. Uh, she was the one serving in the uh, Topical Advisory Committee for ICD-11, but when she passed on, I had to replace her. Professor Ajose, energetic, we miss her. Professor Shoinka was my second supervisor at part two level. Uh, and Professor Kubenje from the University of Benin, they have departed into glory. May their soul rest in perfect peace. These are my references. Uh, you can check them up. I thank you all for listening. Wow. Can we be all standing, a rousing, rousing club for the professor on last Sunday? Wow. That was a very, very beautiful. If not for Professor George Dark skin, I'm sure you'll have noticed him blushing. But of course, because his skin is dark, you couldn't see that. Thank you so much. You can now be seated. Uh, I'm sure with this lecture now, we've been able to see the old and the new aligned. I really want to witness to the fact that dermatology, I knew when the tide turned, um, by virtue of you know, the assignment that I do, in those days you'll be looking for dermatologist residents to come for update revision courses. And you'll be struggling to even count two. But um, I knew when the tide turned and you started seeing them coming in. Uh, they've really done a very great work. In fact, I used to tease some of them that, uh, wow, what did you do? How did you do it? <laughs> this is a, a, a specialty in medicine that I know has really been um, avoided for quite a while. Uh, but they've been able to do a great job. And that's because people like grandfather, grand teacher, Professor George, really, really um, was a pillar, which is one of the things that Professor Lassadi said about him, a teacher of teachers. I remember those days, Professor George, I don't think there is any other consultant in medicine that, 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 that does that. When it's time for dermatology clinic, Professor George has a very big, that big room, seminar room, that's where he does his own consultation, and it's because of the student. We were all, right from student days, I remember we were all gathered there and he will be teaching us. Um, it's really, we're going to miss Professor George, no doubt about it. I'm sure you will agree with me that with that kind of lecture, 
uh, we need to show a token of appreciation to Professor last Sunday, and we're just going to do that to present a uh, plaque to this wonderful guest lecturer, uh, a protege of the celebrant today. And um, to do that, I want to invite uh, um, one of uh, Professor Joss Grand, I would call him Grand, Grand uh, Children in Dermatology, uh, but he's also in the department now uh, to come and do this. Dr. Eni Bokon. Thank you, everybody. I stand on existing protocol. And uh, can I pa ask for the permission of the guest lecturer to please rise up? Thank you. Well, on behalf of the Department of Medicine, College of, College of Medicine, So on behalf of Department of Medicine, College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, and University College Hospital, we present this plaque in appreciation of your very exciting lecture on this special occasion of our highly honored teacher, Professor A. O. George. Uh, we want to say thank you. The lecture was quite lucid, exciting, and they were taking points which we'll work on. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, Dr. Nibokon. Just quickly recognize uh, some people that are here. Alan Professor Fasamadi is here now, one of our very senior colleagues in the department. <laughs> Professor Fasamadi, you're welcome, sir. And uh, of course, the son of the celebrant, Mr. Femi George, is here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Congratulations. And uh, we also want to quickly recognize DDN on Lakunle in MOP. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and thank you, Ma, for that um, very inspiring lecture. Uh, um, as Dr. Balogun was reminiscing about his time as a student when Professor George was uh, teaching in that big room. I also had flashbacks of when I was also a student and we would surround Professor George in that room. Monday afternoons, I don't think medical students do that anymore. Monday afternoons, all comers were welcome because you didn't have to be in dermatology unit to join those Monday afternoon skin clinics. And we would sit around him in that room and he would, you know, I remember pneumola, dermatitis, oh, he described it as a coin. You know, those are, those are things I still remember to date. And so I apologize, I've referred to you as my grand teacher, but I think you are more of my great grand teacher because if you taught Dr. Balogun as a student, then <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Um, next item on the agenda now is um, a couple of tributes in celebration of Professor George um, by um, a, com a number of um, associations, um, Niger Nigerian Association of Dermatology, the Southwest Association of Dermatology. I think there is a video tribute by some of his mentees and there will be some tributes from his family uh, members. So first, I would like to kindly invite Dr. Erere Otrof Fanoe. I'm not sure I didn't murder the name, but I apologize. Um, so she's here representing the Nigerian Association of Dermatology and she will be presenting a tribute to Professor George. Please, a round of applause for Dr. Otrofa Noe, please. Thank you very much. She's from um, the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. Thank you for getting my name correctly. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> I will stand on existing protocol and not take too much time, but permit me to say I thoroughly enjoyed your lecture, Professor Olasade, and thank you for bringing me out again. I'm here on my, in my own capacity and as well as the treasurer of the Nigerian Association of Dermatologists, of which you have heard so much about. I'm going to quickly dispense with mine, it's very little. 
but it's important for me to say that I am officially one of Professor George's daughters. I remember some time ago when I came for, many years ago when I came for update, and we were walking together, and the staff just went, oh, ah, Professor George's daughter, oh, you look so much like him, and I was like, yes, 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 I'm the one, that's me. And so apologies to Fumi and Femi, I'm here, you can't take me away. <laughs> so thank you, Daddy, for all you have done. I don't know if I'm daughter or granddaughter, but anyone, I'm fine. I'm okay with it. But um, on behalf of the executives, the president, the executives, and all members of the Nigerian Association of Dermatology, home and abroad, those online, I wish to read a goodwill message, which is really, really heartfelt. I'm going to read it verbatim. On behalf of the Nigerian Association of Dermatologists, NAD, we wish to felicitate with you on this day when you retire from active service from the dermatology unit of the Department of Medicine University College Hospital, Ibadan. You have been a great teacher, father, supervisor, and mentor to several young aspiring and not so young dermatologists who have had the immense fortune of passing under your tutelage. Their testimony of your commitment to their mentorship and, and your patient's care are second to none. So, also is the passion you have shared over the year for photography. This passion is well described in this phrase by James Wilson. I paraphrase. It is in the world of photography that you get to know or share a captured moment with other people. You have indeed captured precious moments with your students, your residents, patients, and of course, with the entire NAD family at every meeting and conference that we have had. We, your junior colleagues and mentees, have always found your fatherly approach to issues concerning our general progress in life and the profession comforting and quite encouraging. The Nigerian Association of Dermatology have also benefited immensely from your wise contributions, not alone as the first Secretary General of the Association, but the pioneer editor-in-chief of our journal, the Nigerian Journal of Dermatology, as well as the Chairman of the Endorsement Committee. Your contributions have helped to nurture the association and remain an invaluable source of solicited advice to the executives. We give God glory for your success of your career at the university and the university teaching hospital. Even though your students will miss you greatly, we believe that you will continue to contribute to the growth of dermatology practice in an equally weighted capacity. Once again, please accept our best wishes for your retirement. Yours sincerely, Dr. Tahir Mohammed, NAD President, and Dr. Perpetual Ibeque, NAD Secretary General. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you all for listening to me. Thank you very much. Um, my success in pronouncing your name is the result of coaching by Dr. Gold. <laughs> thank you, ma. Uh, so I'd like to call on Dr. Omoto Yossi Lesomi to give the tribute on behalf of the Southwest Association of Dermatology. A round of applause for her, please. Good afternoon, my teachers and mentors. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, profs. Um, Thank you for making my stay in UCH um, a very comfortable one, sir. Um, I remember when I got here in 2012 for my training as a senior registrar, and um, I was scared at first. And when I was leaving, it was as if I was leaving my home, and I was going back to UITH. It was, this place was a home for me, and I thank you and Professor Ogubi for that. Um, I'm here to represent um, the Southwest Nigerian Association of Dermatologists to give a tribute to Professor Adekule George. The Southwest Nigerian Association of Dermatologists is proud to be associated with a great icon and the person of Professor Adekule George. 
Professor George is one of the founding fathers of dermatology in Southwest Nigeria, a prominent and active member of the association since its inception. You have been a mentor, a teacher, a great intellectual, and you have inspired many to achieve so much. We have benefited immensely from your wealth of experience, knowledge, and counsel over the years. And this extends beyond the field of dermatology. As we retire, we would like to say that members of the association appreci appreciate you dearly, sir, and thank you. We pray God keeps you safe and well wherever you may turn, surrounded by your loved ones and living out the dreams you have earned. We wish you bountiful joy and the very best as you spend quality time with your family. It is time to watch the seeds you have planted grow, and we are rest assured that you will remain in the association and continue to give us your unwavering support. Congratulations and happy retirement, sir. <laughs> On behalf of the South, please, sir, can you? I want to present uh, a plaque. On behalf of the Southwest Association of Dermatology, we appreciate and honor you, sir, and we'd like to present this plaque to you and a token. We appreciate and love you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Elisomi. Um, please, a round of applause as she departs. Thank you. Um, I'd like to invite once again um, Dr. Omolulu Enigbokon to give tribute on behalf of the Dermatology Unit, Department of Medicine, um, University of Ibadan, University College Hospital. Dr. Enigbokon, please. A round of applause for him, please. Thank you. It's a very nervous moment for me, and uh, it's because of what he has contributed and what I'll be missing in some time to come. Well, Professor George, like we fondly call him, had immensely contributed to the unit, and since he joined the unit, the unit has really grown to a large extent. Time will not permit me at this time, time will not permit me to fully express his contributions to the unit. But in, in a summary, a person said something, a quote, and that's our manager. In his words, he said, what the teacher is, is more important, is, what the teacher is, is more important than what he teaches. And what that means is, what the teacher actually professes, what the teacher actually, the character of a teacher is actually, is actually much more important than the message or the, the, information it passes across. Your unique character has taught us a lot in dermatology. Your great kindness, care, interest in individual and personal development, as well as your generosity will never be forgotten by any of us. We all know you are not tired, even though you are retiring. In fact, I uh, would say, Professor George, many of your We we'll say, Professor George, uh, in your deep passion for your clinical duties, we have seen the diligence you've taught all of us, and we, if we are very, very indeed uh, grateful for your contributions to our lives. Well, we in dermatology unit, we know that we'll deeply miss you, we'll miss your activities, and we'll miss your support you have given unto us. We've seen much of your kindness, we've seen much of your generosity, 
and we've seen much of your care and concern even for our family members. Our prayer is that as you retire today, your joy will be multiplied. You will enjoy new season in good health, sound mind, and abundance of riches. We would want to say that, well, as you sit back and watch, one of the things you have taught us while you were on ground is emphasis on research that uh, are practical and more relevant even to our communities. And I want to say you will see this coming out in a short time. I want to say we appreciate you so much in the Dermatology Unit. We will miss you and we love you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Nigbokon. Um, I'd like to call on Mr. Femi George, um, a representative of um, Professor George's family, to give some words of tribute in honor of his father. Mr. George, please. A round of applause for him. Hello, sirs. Hello, ma's. I am honored to be standing here today before the great esteemed daddies, mommies, professors, and everybody. And I'm glad for the chance to appreciate my father. I usually like to freestyle, but I wrote something down. So this is it. The drums roll as a legend is celebrated. Some call him Professor Adekunle Olufemi George. I call him dad. A privilege given not only to those who came from his loins. As I can see today, he's a father to many. Hmm. Uh, yes. My daughter just told me the other day, Grandpa is so much fun. To which I responded, yes, dear. Oh, yes. He's a grandpa. Another cap amongst the many that he wears so well. Some of these bear the titles, Dad, Grandpa, critic, author, mentor, professor, doc. He's also carpenter. He's a project manager, chief photographer, <laughs> chief editor, <laughs> and the list is endless. He wants to solve every problem he can take up. And he prefers to take this pro these tasks upon himself, executing each of them personally. His grandchildren see the soft and fun side. We grew up seeing more the disciplinarian, motivator, and whenever the occasion arose, the all-round comedian. He has imparted lives all over, and he has stood always for the truth with a stiff stance against corruption, zero tolerance for laziness, always modest, and plagued with an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Platforms such as Youth for Christ gave him the opportunity to lead many to Christ. And these seeds have become great men and women who in turn point others to the way of the cross. I'm on Facebook here. Yeah, we are the younger generations. And I get to meet a lot of people, pastors, ministers, who tell me, your dad led me to Christ. He was a youth for Christ. And I'm like, yes. So those testimonies make us proud of you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Um, so time won't permit me to tell all I know which is still limited I'm still learning about this great man and about the great man Professor De Kunle Judge he's retired officially from service but trust me he isn't tired on behalf of my dad I would like to and the whole family I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you who took our time to celebrate the retirement of this iconic figure. May the good Lord remember you too. And God bless you, Ma. As you gave that lecture, my daughter heard you and she was like, ah, wow, so, you know, doctors can be this hip and everything. I want to be a professor of medicine. I said, I must tell you that. I must tell you that. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for the accolades. Thank you for your service. God bless you, Ma. Yes, Ma. I'm celebrate yours. Celebrate you so much. Thank you very much. Can you please give him a thunderous round of applause? Thank you very much. Um, 
for reminding us of the non-academic and non-clinical caps that Professor George wears. Um, Pastor Carpenter, uh, project manager. Wow, OK. I definitely have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> so um, the final set of tributes will be from Professor George's mentees who have, um, there's a video recording um, of tributes from his mentees. And I think the IT folks would uh, help us start playing that right away. Um, while we're setting that up, may I just recognize the presence of a couple of more people. Professor David Irabo of the Department of Surgery. Um, and Professor Maya Wawulabi of uh, Medicine. Professor George was a father and is still a father. He was an encourager, quite supportive. I remember the time he had tutorials with me as a teacher for my time. I also learned the same thing with Professor Gumbi and I just like the family. I enjoyed my posting while in usage. They made things very easy. The whole thing is up here. retirement. You have been a blessing to all. We have all been your students and we wish you long, healthy life. Bye. To our dear Professor George, I want to say we really love you and we miss you in dermatology units. I have benefited immensely from your wealth of knowledge, experience as well as your humble character. Being a dermatology resident showed me the gentle, simple, loving yet disciplined kind humble and caring side of you i've consistently enjoyed a happy personal relationship with you I've at many times witnessed the beauty and strength of your kindness you have displayed a deep and sympathetic concern not only for us your trainees but our family as well i can boldly say we are proud to have you contribute to what some of us are today as a teacher and i'm sure us will continue to speak all we can say is as you retire, may God keep you fit, but stay healthy and blessed. This is indeed a joyous occasion to be celebrating our dear prof at his retirement. He's retiring in good health, he's retiring with life. You have indeed been a blessing to my life. Right from those days I used to make me take pictures of the world, take all kinds of pictures. You really did influence my photography. Happy retirement once again, and may the good Lord continue to keep you healthy and give you new things to do in life. And I know, Prof, you will not be jobless. Prof will find himself things to do. Happy retirement. Happy retirement, that Professor George. Thank you for being a good father, a good teacher, a supervisor. We thank God for your life, and we wish you a happy retirement in good health in Jesus' name. This is a good old message for an icon of dermatology in the person of Professor Adekunle George, a direct beneficiary of your mentorship, your kindness, humility, and your willingness to teach and advise beyond the realms of dermatology. It's another opportunity for me to say thank you very much. And I also wish you the very best. By the grace of God, your retirement is going to be the beginning of many more good things to come in your life. Once again, thank you and many congratulations, sir. Past years have rolled by. And yet, how beautiful it has been to have shared a part of it with you, Professor George. As a medical student and also as a resident. Memories of your teaching, your advice and your mentorship always comes to mind anytime I treat a patient. I teach medical students or resident doctors. I'm grateful for this opportunity to say thank you to you, sir. I wish you a blissful retirement. And may God continue to bless you, Prof. Amen. This is a tribute to our grandfather and father and professor of dermatology in UCH. I would like you to know that you imparted a lot on me personally not only in the knowledge of dermatology, but also in learning how to take your time and listen to your patients, take your time and listen to your colleagues, and take your time and listen to your junior colleagues also. As you are going on to this next stage in your life, 
I wish you the very best this life has to offer. I pray that this next stage is gives you more joy and contentment than in the last stage. And I also want you to, to assure you that everything that we learned will pass it forward and will also keep in touch with you. Take care of yourself, sir. You will be sorely missed. Take care. Happy retirement, Professor George. I'm grateful to have done residency under your tutelage. Your kind words, your gentle spirit are things that are worthy um, of emulation. I'm thankful to God for meeting you. I thank you for how much knowledge you imparted in me, both academically and socially. I wish you all the very best. I wish you all the beautiful things you would want for yourself. I wish you all the things that you planned for retirement. And I say happy retirement again. Thank you so much, Prof, for allowing us drink from your fountain of knowledge. And um, specifically, I learned the art of photography, both in dermatology and out of dermatology from you, sir. And I wish you a happy, happy, happy retirement, sir. Congratulations, Professor George. The news of your retirement comes with a mixed feeling. You've done so much for us. We've learned dermatology from you. Uh, I've learned other issues of life from you. Your charisma and your simplicity in dealing with issues of life taught me a lot. So I want to use this opportunity to say thank you. As you go into retirement, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and make you much more fruitful. Thank you for all you've done. Once again, congratulations. You've been a source of inspiration to many. We are happy we stayed under you and we learned quite a lot in dermatology. You are, are retiring. We know you are not tired and we know that God will continue to uplift you, give you long life and prosperity. And you continue to mentor us. So, uh, in Jesus' name, you continue to mentor us in dermatology. Even if you are officially retiring, I know you've not officially retired from mentoring us. Please continue to mentor Thank you, sir. Prof, I am very, very, very happy to be part of this. I am one of the privileged ones that you have trained, and um, I'm so happy to have been trained by you. You were and you are still a father. Uh, you trained us not just as residents, but as also your children, and you had names for all of us as you fondly called us your daughters and your sons so the values you impacted on us on me personally i will make sure i carry on and i would also pass it on to our younger generations uh i want to say thank you very very much for being um who you are i want to thank god for you for your life and for everything how far he has brought you for how far He's still going to take you for the things he still has in store for you. You are the best that um, one can ever pray for. You did your best to uh, fight for us. You, did, you were always there for us. For me personally, you treated me as your own personal daughter. I am very, very glad. I'm very happy. And um, I'm wishing you good health. I'm wishing you strength. I'm wishing you... Uh, everything you need um, to sail through retirement uh, and know that we, we, I will always be coming back for advice and for everything that I need uh, as you are still my father like I used to call you uh, thank you so much Professor George and wishing you the best hello prof thank you for being a huge inspiration to me I thank you so much for the time I was in UTH for making my time memorable and thank you for your continued mentoring a great teacher and if I thank you so much for all the times you call to find out how I am doing how my family is doing I wish you the very best in this next phase of your life these golden years will be the most fun in your life and I wish you so much of success joy happiness Thank you for the knowledge you parted in us while we were doing our residency at the best college of school in Badon. I want to wish you joy, peace on all sides of fulfillment. We shall continue to reap, reap, reap all the fruits of your labor and also God continue to bless you, sir. This is me saying a lot of thanks to you for being such a wonderful mentor and um, a father as well. Um, I know I spent just a year in Ibadan, but 
that one year I spent was quite memorable. Um, I'd never forget all you taught me, um, your kindness, um, and your exuberance and your love for us. I don't think I could ever forget that. And so on this wonderful location of your retirement, I say congratulations. I hope retirement brings you all the joy you can ever have in this life. Um, you're a wonderful man, very wonderful man. Congratulations, Professor George. Wow. Oh, it's a lovely collection of uh, appreciation from the mentees. Okay, um, shortly we're going to be um, aligned presentation of one gift after the other. Actually, three major categories uh, to Professor George. You know, uh, maybe because of what uh, Professor Lasode made reference to when she started her lecture, dermatologists, unlike their counterparts abroad, um, people cheaply consult them here. <laughs> they can meet them on the corridor and say, ah, see, see my skin. So what do you think is wrong? <laughs> um, I guess it's because people also discern that, uh, like you rightly put, Ma, you've been divinely commissioned to heal people with skin disease. So people thought that, uh, well, that should be, it should be, it should be free of charge. <laughs> okay, but today, uh, Professor Josh is going to be well appreciated, at least with some good, nice gift to go home. But before that, um, we will now want to uh, conduct an event, which um, you will agree with me, without this, the celebration is not complete. And that is the cutting of the cake. To do that, I will invite Dr. Kemi Adekombi. Give her a round of applause as she comes to do it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Please permit me to stand on existing protocols. Before I ask Professor George and his family um, to, to rise up for the cutting of the cake, I'd like to share my, very briefly, my very um, first encounter with Professor George. I'm certain he does not remember. This was in 1997, and I was in Medicine One, in the endocrinology unit, and we were having a ward round with us, one of our senior registrars. And Professor George came into the ward with his camera. It was always the ubiquitous camera. He came in with his camera, and he was trying to get the attention of the senior registrar. And he just tapped me and said I should call the senior registrar. So like a diligent medical student, I went to the um, senior registrar, and I said, excuse me, sir, the photographer wants to see you. <laughs> and um, I'm sure Prof doesn't remember, because that's the kind of person. He's very kind, very humble. And the senior registrar corrected me, that's Dr. George, then Dr. George, that's Dr. George. And I just wanted the ground to open up <laughs> and swallow me. But the ground did not swallow me, and I'm here, I'm still standing. Needless to say, throughout medical school, I avoided him. I'm sure he forgot, but I was very scared and avoided him. And when I joined the department in 2015, I was told that I was going to be adopted by the dermatology unit. And I was just praying that he would not remember, because I never forgot. <laughs> so, sir, um, we celebrate with you today, and I'd like you to please rise up, um, for the cutting of the cake, and, and also I would like your, your children and grandchildren to join you. There's no knife. I would like to call Mrs. Babalola to please join Professor George and family. She's family. Mrs. Babalola, please. Okay. So, could you please hold the knife? Yes, sir. And then everybody else can place their hands. Maybe one or two people can place their hand on um, as well. So I, 
Oh, no, I'll ask that. So uh, on September 4th of this year, our very dear Professor George will be attaining the milestone age of 70 years. And that is really worth celebrating. Um, so I'll need the help of anybody that is younger than me in this room. I'm 25 years old. So anybody that's younger than me, I need your voice. We're going to, to count in tens from 10 all the way to 70. And when we get to 70, then Prof and his family, his lovely family, will cut the cake. So I want to hear your voice. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Congratulations, sir. Happy birthday in advance. Okay, so after this, after this, I would also like Prof to be joined, his family can sit down now, um, to be joined by members of the high table. Okay. A, um, a personal photograph, just Professor George, please, with the cake. Other photographs will be taken after the program. Okay. So he doesn't sit down, so immediately he begins to call the people giving the gifts. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Adekon B. Um, almost everybody that has come to this podium to speak about Professor George has really, really made reference to this uh, photographic thing. And uh, each time they say so, I will look at the photographer here, and I'll be thinking inside, I say, you better do a good job today, because the person that you are, he, he has a high, you know, for good quality pictures. Okay, so we will now take the gift and to start uh, on behalf of the department to present a gift to Professor George, I will invite Dr. Dedeke. Please, can we clap for him as he can? Good afternoon, everybody. Permit me to stand on existing protocol. Prof, sir. A lot has been said today, and I'm a beneficiary of that blessing that you have been to us. We can only give you a token because you have done a lot. You have laid foundation that one can only but God has helped you. And here today, as a department, we want to give you this token. Now, it's too heavy to bring here, so we've put something in the envelope as a symbol of that gift of our love for you. We will miss you, but we appreciate you, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Okay, so uh, we will we have another precious gift coming from the College of Medicine. Um, University of Ibadan, and to do that will be uh, the chairman of the occasion, the deputy provost representing the provost, Professor Fatah Adeni. Can we clap? Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Balogo. Um, once again, good afternoon, distinguished um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of the MCs mentioned about the issue of um, photography story. I, I think I, I did mention in my speech earlier on, uh, apart from photography, all the other talents that you can find with Professor George. But let me do my specific photography story too. Um, last week I contacted Professor George that <laughs> he already knows what I was talking about. I contacted him that I needed a couple of his photographs. And he said, oh, that's fine. I'm going to send you some photos. And you know what? By the time he finished sending his photographs, he sent me 138 photographs. And I am not joking. <laughs> so... I decided not to download any of those photos on my phone, so I went on my computer and I downloaded. And by the time I finished downloading, the computer read 138 pictures. <laughs> then I went through all the photographs one after the other. So by the time I finished, I knew everything essentially about Professor George. All his other uh, intimate you know, and uh, personal life outside of the College of Medicine. Thank you very much, sir, for that confidence and uh, for that kind of generosity. We are indeed very, very grateful for all that you have done to the College of Medicine. So on behalf of the provost, the management and executive of the College of Medicine, I hereby present this plaque to you. This is not in any way representing how much we love you, but we cherish you a lot, and this is just a symbol. So um, according to the um, words on this plaque, hearty congratulations, Professor Adekunle George, Professor of Medicine and Contactant Dermatologist. On your 70th birthday and retirement from the service of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, we are profoundly grateful to you and wish you abundant happiness in this new season of your life. Olainka Oomigbadun, Professor of Psychiatry and Provost on behalf of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Adeni. Okay, um, I learned there is a part B to Department of Medicine. <laughs> um, and I will call uh, Mrs. Edun Ediri uh, on behalf of the non-academic staff in the department to make the presentation to Professor George. And on behalf of the administrative staff of the Department of Medicine, I want to present this to you as a token of our love. Thank you very much. Sweep quickly, we want the mentees to make their presentation. And um, to do that on behalf of the mentees, I call Dr. Enig Bokon. Dr. Enig Bokon, please come and make the presentation to Professor George Gift. Please, can I request Dr. Lisomi and Dr. Aguru to please come forward as we deliver this. So as representatives of, of your past and current trainees, we are so much happy and delighted about your impact in our life. And as a result of that, we have come up with just a token of a token that will keep you in remembrance that we love you. And uh, to do this, we'll be unleashing some of the gifts one at a time. And uh, I will want to first request so I first want to request Dr. Aguru to present this. So this plaque is 
and appreciation towards your continued and consistent impact, knowledge, and uh, character towards your trainees. And uh, to present this will be Dr. Aguru. So Dr. Aguru, can you please help us with this? I want to thank Prof for everything he has done for us. We thank you for being you. You've been a good father and a good teacher to us all. Despite the time or anything, you're always willing to listen. And I hope and pray that you enjoy your retirement, sir. Thank you once again. Second one, being the person you are, you love photography, and we know you love art, artwork. And based on that, we have done this painting that will keep you, at least that we feel that anytime you see, you will always smile and see the beauty that you have imbibed in people. So we press, we press this to you. So to do this, we will be Dr. Elisomi. Congrats, Prof. We love you. We appreciate you. We honor you. Yes, sir. Uh. Third one. <laughs> Please go ahead, go ahead. So okay, can we can we come together? So Tony jointly, we are also decided to give you this and um, we our prayer is that your continued impact would keep on and be uh would not cease in our lives and your joy will continually multiply thank you prof we love you wow can you can you give a sound round of applause for our grateful mentees Grateful mentees that have brought joy to their mentor. Thank you so much. You know, I have a feeling that if not for Professor Jolt's simplicity, maybe it's car or even a private jet that they will have. They will have brought. Thank you so much. Well, we're still doing gifting. I will call on the Lagos, the Lagos uh, group of mentees also want to specially do a presentation of gifts. <laughs> From let me hug you, sir. <laughs> want to appreciate Prof. George. I can't but um, appreciate the first, I was, I will say I, I am meant to because I started my dermatology post in here at UCH. I did briefly, and I disappeared to Lagos. I also appreciate you so much for your effort. I didn't know that it's not so easy to be an editor until he retired and handed it over to me. So from the Lagos Dermatology Society and the Lagos Dermatologists, um, on behalf of myself, Dr. Akikube, Aisha Akikube, and Ereri Otrofanawe, we want to really appreciate you. Um, we want to say we love you. We're excited about you. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much. Just to say that, um, Dr. Balogu, if you speak skinnies like we do, skinnies, those who speak the language of the skin, those who understand what the skin is telling us, you will see that Professor George is actually blushing.
Let's come for the Lagos people. Echo for show. Sure. <laughs> okay, so the final, the final one will come from the resident of the Department of Medicine, and the chief resident will do that on their behalf. Dr. La Lucy. Um, thank you very much, sir. Um, on behalf of all internal medicine residents, um, we'd like to present you, sir, um, a token of our appreciation and love for your kindness and your thoughtfulness and your, you know, the teaching you've done for us, the training, the way you brought us up. I would like to appreciate you once again and congratulate you on this milestone. And um, we love you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so uh, Prof, I, I, before you, so that I don't have to trouble you to bring you back again, I'm sure you all want to hear from him. Don't you want to hear from him? All right, so I, on your behalf, want to invite the celebrant, uh, Professor George, to please come and give his response. Professor George, sir, we're all waiting to hear. The day is gone, so we don't want to waste too much time. Uh, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Thanking everybody here who have contributed to my life. You're all close to me, either as my biological family members, my friend on the estate. Uh, you are close to me in different connections. So I'll just make a sentence or two on each category, just to show that I appreciate your coming. If we had this celebration today and nobody showed up, of course there'd be nothing to talk about. Let me start by thanking um, the guest lecturer. Is she around? Okay, she has left. And the husband. In fact, the husband has become an associate dermatologist. He's almost at every conference we had. I think him, I thank her. Let me thank my HOD, Professor Bola Ogumbi. We are like sisters and brothers. If you are looking for a unit where there is peace, where there is cooperation, where there is love, come to dermatology. <laughs> she is a confidant. There's nothing about me, what, very few things about me that she doesn't know. <laughs> very few things. She's my confidant. Whenever I get worried, whether on political matters, family matters, I go to Bola's office and then we talk. Just of interest, I was supposed to examine her in Lagos for the fellowship, but somehow I forgot the venue. Interesting. And checked into the wrong hotel. So she ended up being examined by another person. But she never took it upon me. She was not angry with me. And then she came over here in those days when I was walking virtually alone. And since she came, I've never regretted having this wonderful lady in my life. I said Thanksgiving because what I am today is due to the benevolence of other people. I didn't choose dermatology, I didn't choose medicine. Interesting. I wanted to be a hematologist or a pediatrician. So I applied for medicine, hematology, and pediatrics. Dr. Robert Jude French. Yaria, not somebody packing so many English names. Dr. Robert Jude, the father of the current Dr. Yaria, decided to bring me into medicine because he was in medicine. 
That's why I'm in medicine. To, well, well, that's why I'm in medicine today. I went. It was time for dermatology. I didn't choose dermatology. Professor Adetwibi, late Professor Adetwibi, decided I should do dermatology. And when it was time to supervise my book, it was late Professor Inyo, who was into pharmaceutical medicine, who supervised it. And the book was read by a clinical pharmacologist, Professor Dr. Walker. So you can see I've benefited from the kindness of many people. So I thank all these people for what they have been to me. I can see some people in white at the end, those gentlemen and ladies at the end. These are the non-medical people. They are in white today. Thank you very much. Wave if you can see me here. No. Um, I enjoy the association, the love of those who are not medical doctors. The clerks, the typists, the security men, the cleaners, they've all been very good to me. So I thank you very much for your kindness to me, and I do not disregard anybody in my life. I want to thank my doctors in ophthalmology. While I was head of department, 1914 to, 1914, 2014 to 2018, I suddenly had bleeding to my left eye. And then the, the eye doctors took over. Um, Dr. Lusanya was the first contact, and thereafter, Dr. Luleye, Dr. Babalola, Dr. Jadola. I ended up being in high hospital Lagos, high specialty hospital Lagos, Ikeja, and I was shuttling between Lagos and Ibadan, taking injection of Avastin almost every two months into this right eye. That was a lot of money, about 100,000 per injection. Transport fare, drugs, and other things. So very costly. And I wonder, say, God, am I going to continue with this kind of eye problem? How will I sustain it? And I can understand the challenge of people who are really sick, who are battling every day. Thank God, I now celebrate about two years of not needing that injection. Two years now. You know. When I developed cataract in the left eye, I said, this eye, this eye, this eye. Professor Bekibele came to my rescue and removed the cataract, and it was very successful. So I wish to thank them for what they have been doing to keep me seen. Thank you very much, ophthalmologist. I love you. Uh, I'll still need to be checking on you. <laughs> I want to thank family members, the Paulina Zafia family in Tokumbo Street, Lagos Island the Babaniji family in Lagos. I want to thank the estates, Alafia estate, the Jalagbe chairman, thank you very much. I want to thank uh, Engineer Oisho for Ifefsuwakpo estate. I want to thank uh, Bito Misi, or, uh, Dominion estate. Thank you very much for coming along. So I've enjoyed the benevolence of many people around who are not even dermatologists or medical doctors. Over here also have people like uh, Haske Ishaku uh, Ibrahim. I have my adopted sister, adopted sister here, Babalola, Miss Babalola, Janet, Michael, and many other people in the crowd here that I can list if I are not to end up staying long here. So thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Uh, this I can't really thank, I'll continue to thank you all we meet. <clears throat> I want to thank the old brigade. Professor Solomon Kadiri, <laughs> Professor Shalaguni. I didn't want to have any celebration. My plan was just to gently ease out of usage. <clears throat> but the HOD sent a wise man, Solomon Kadiri. Solomon, Solomon Kadiri. <laughs> and he came, sat me down in the lounge, and said, Georgie, what if we try this one and try this one? I said, Solo. <laughs> <laughs> So we settled for this, what we have today. Actually, officially, I'm retiring on the, four, on the 4th of September, September 4, God willing. So don't start coming to my house tonight. The dogs will back you. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to thank my secretaries, 
They have been very wonderful. Actually, I've been, inter I've been interacting with many women all my life. Many women. In fact, many women. Sometimes I get embarrassed and say, come, God, why these many women? <laughs> my secretary, Remy Adebowale, I don't know whether she's here today. I've seen Regina Faleye. There's Bimbo. And currently I have uh, uh, I have uh, Nkechi. Nkechi. So it's always been women, women, women. The only male I had has passed on. So thank you for the women secretaries who have been close, made my life easy, and the other people around here. Ah, but before I forget, there's somebody I must not forget to mention. Ori, are you here? Is he around? One, they call him Ori. The name is Olatunde Akorede. We have had about 20 years of good relationship. Whenever I travel abroad, he handles about six checks for me for payment of people and six checks. I just sign and he, appa he, appa he attaches the names and that's all. He has never taken one cobble out of my money. <laughs> when my mother was ill and admitted in usage, about the same time, my sister, my sister was also admitted. So you can imagine running between two different worlds. I'm so fat by nature that you can imagine what I became then. <laughs> And Tunde will help do the errands. There are moments that we had to wash the clothes, the soiled clothes in usage, and dry them in my car when it was raining. Tunde has been wonderful. When I was going for my eye operation, Tunde would be running around, help me to pay, collect things. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Mm. There are equally people, other people who are helpful as well. But like I said, we can't mention everybody and their activities in relationship to me today. Um, I think Popola, Laomi Popola from Lagos, King's College. <laughs> Thank you very much, Popsin, for coming along. Uh, he came all the way when he heard that I was going to do something. Engineer Raji from Alafia State. Although we are an American doctor, he's an engineer, but we're always constructing the gutters, <laughs> the roads and other things together. I'll be in my knickers, arranging blocks and cement. <laughs> well, we had a good time. I thank you all for coming over here today. Um, I think I'll just keep it short so I don't continue. My daughter, thank you very much. Uh, uh, um, Shola, thank you very much. Mrs. Uh, Mommy Ay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Thank you, my guys here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to. Please, can you clap and clap and clap for him? That is vintage Professor George. Simple response of the celebrant. He has kept it simple. Uh, he said uh, he didn't choose dermatology. Yes, that's correct. God chose dermatology for you. Because I just can't imagine what else would beautifully match this innate photography instinct uh, other than dermatology. Um, because dermatology and photography, uh, it, it, they, they go together. So we're very glad uh, that he eventually he chose dermatology. Okay, um, just before I call the person who is going to formally thank everyone here, um, I want you to know that um, there's going to be group photographs, um, different categories. So you want to make sure that you are around to be part of that. Um, so to give the vote of thanks and then give us a closing prayer, uh, will be Dr. Arneola so on behalf of the organizing committee who have worked 
tirelessly to put this together. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. This program has finally come to an end, and we give all the glory to God. On behalf of the Department of Medicine, on behalf of the head of the Department of Medicine, the entire staff of the department, we would like to express our thanks, first of all, to God for making this event possible against all odds. Our sincere gratitude also goes first to um, the guest lecturer, uh, Professor Ola Inka Ola Sodi, for that very beautiful lecture. We would also like to thank Professor George for allowing us to celebrate him in our own little way. Thank you very much, sir. And um, we also like to thank all our special guests on the high table, the provost, ably represented by the deputy provost, um, the CMD, the CMAC, the college secretary, our dean of clinical sciences, um, family and friends of Professor George who have come here today, all consultant staff, all nurses, all administrative staff, we are grateful. All our specially invited guests, because we are all special. Thank you very much for coming. We deeply appreciate your presence. God bless you all. And may we always have reasons to celebrate and be celebrated. Thank you very much. We'll now take the closing prayer because we started with an opening prayer we just want to appreciate our father for this opportunity heavenly father we thank you for today we thank you for your presence here we thank you for just gracing this occasion and making it successful thank you for professor george thank you for keeping him alive and thank him for thank you lord for allowing him to be celebrated today Father, as we go to our various destinations, we ask that your presence goes with us in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that you bless each and every one of us, multiply us, and grant us peace. We ask for peace in our nation, Nigeria, and we ask, oh God, that your hand of protection will be upon every one of us. We give you all the glory, all the thanks for all that you have done in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Ma, for, uh, for those remarks. So with that, we have come to the end of the um, event. However, as Dr. Balogu announced, there will be group photographs. So please hang around. First with Professor George and members of the high table. Professor George and members of the high table. Then please, the consultant staff of the Department of Medicine should please get ready after this. Consultant staff of medicine department, please get ready. Consultant staff of medicine department. Consultant staff of medicine department, please. <laughs> Professor George's friends should please get ready. After this, they will come next.
Professor George's friends, Professor George's friends, please come up. Professor George's friends. Professor George's friend. Sorry. Professor George's friends. Nigerian Association of Dermatologists. Nigerian Association of Dermatologists. Nigerian Association of Dermatologists. And Southwest Association of Dermatologists. Then, <laughs> then members of medicine department, the um, non-academic members of medicine department. Medicine department, yes. Med shit. Medicine department. After. Okay. Medicine department, medicine department. I don't need your king. The king right in the Monday shadow. 
Jesus, Mokbe Yaka, 